Then, Sonny, thank you for your time. Why are these elections expected to be uh, so fortly contested? Well, they, we've seen a proliferation of new political parties. And with changes to the Electoral Act recently, we, we're now allowing independent candidates to, to contest for elections, people who represent constituencies directly. But there's also been a lot of unhappiness with the African National Congress, lots of failures, some of which we have just mentioned, including high levels of crime, particularly in political levels and failing systems, institutions over the past at least uh, 20 years. And the ANC has not managed to bring all of this under control. The economy is failing in high levels. Just yesterday, no, this morning, they announced that unemployment is at about 32 point something uh, percent, which is quite high, especially a lot of young people who are not, who are not able to get jobs. And Solly, this year's elections will coincide with South Africa's celebration of 30 years of freedom. Will this anniversary inspire a larger turnout? Well, no, this is, it's not this anniversary that will inspire a lot of a large turnout. It's the anger. It's the it's the hunger from South Africans to see change. We've given the African National Congress 30 years at the top of government. And there was a lot of hope when Ramaphosa took over from his predecessor, Zuma. Uh, he came in with a very lofty message of renewal, new dawn, he called it. Uh, but he's proven to be somebody who is not able to take firm decisions against his own people. He's continued the tradition of the African National Congress of placing the interest of the political party ahead of what's good for South Africa. So people are eager to vote. I've heard a lot of people say, this is our new 1994. We're starting all over because the ANC has failed us. And recently, South Africa brought a landmark genocide case against Israel. As Ramaphosa seeks this second term as president, do you think this will boost his chances? Has it been popular among the public there in South Africa? Well, it will boost his chances in some quarters of the country, but not in all quarters of the country. I think a lot of South Africans know that while they support South Africa's stance on the Palestinian issue, which is really important, uh, this is this is a, an, an international affairs matter. It's not a domestic matter. It's not, I don't see how it will boost the ANC's fortunes locally with the Muslim community in places like Cape Town, Durban. Maybe a lot of people will see um, uh, the reason to navigate from parties like the Democratic Alliance, which is the official opposition, to support Ramaphosa for this task, just for this one thing. So I think it's a mixed bag. Some people will support the ANC on the basis of its stance on Palestine. Others won't. I mean. This is how it's going to be, unfortunately. And I, I don't think that the Palestinian matter should impact domestic politics. The ANC has failed massively domestic at home, even though it's been good that it stood for the rights of the Palestinian people. Solly, thank you very much for your time. Solly Moring, live for us there from Switzerland.